Hey everybody, Matt here. Today I'm going to show you how I made these gears. I started by working with these 10 millimeter hex head bolts. I needed to turn them into 10 millimeter shafts, so I just clamped them in a vise and cut off the heads of both bolts. I picked up a file just to get rid of the sharp edge after hack sawing. This is what my gear design looks like. I designed it in LibreCAD. I started by cutting out both gears just very roughly. Then I taped the two uh, paper gears down on a board so that the teeth would mesh. Then I took a sharp awl and marked the center of each gear. Then it was off to the drill press to drill out the center of each gear, starting with a small drill bit. And then moving to a larger drill bit, something a little bit smaller than 10 millimeters. I don't remember exactly what the size was. Then I sanded off any tear out. I'm working with particle board just for these prototype gears so there is some tear out. Then I took each of the 10, mil 10 millimeter bolts and as you can see hammered them into the holes I just drilled. Again here's some more printouts of the gear design. I cut out both gears, just roughly. Then I taped them down to another piece of particle board. Then I used the awl to just punch a little hole for the center of each hole I'm gonna drill. Then it was back over to the drill press to start drilling out the holes. Here's what it looks like after I drilled out the center of each of those holes. Next, I'm going to use a 30 millimeter Forstner bit to drill out the OD for each of the bearings. Here's what the board looks like with the holes drilled for the bearing. There's the bearing in my hand and as you can see, it does easily press in to the holes I just drilled. Here's what the board looks like after I've drilled all the half inch holes around each bearing. Here I'm marking the cut lines between each of the half inch holes. Here's what it looks like with all the lines marked. Then it's over to the bandsaw to cut along each one of those lines I just marked. Still at the bandsaw, now I'm going to cut from half inch oak dowel the teeth for both of the gears. After some sanding and cleanup work, this is what each of the gears look like before I install the teeth. What I'm going to do is glue them in place and just use a rubber band to kind of hold them there or clamp them there. Here I'm spinning the dowel a little bit just to help spread the glue. And 
and then I put the rubber band in place. As you can see here, I only have a couple of more dowels to put into place. And I think you can notice too that having the vise to hold the, the gear while I do the gluing and the assembly is, was really very helpful. So you can see here I've got all the dowels in place held with a rubber band and here's both of the gears set aside to dry. This is the kind of glue I used, original tight bond. So here I need to apologize. I'm not really sure why this video clip is so dark, but hopefully you can get the idea. Uh, what I need to do here is just sand the ends of the dowels down flush with the face of the gear. I started by doing it manually and then very quickly moved to using my belt sander a clamp to my workbench. All set, done sanding. So here you can see the board that I hammered the two 10 millimeter bolts into. I cut that board in half so that as I was testing the gears, I had more control over the center to center distance between each gear. You might also notice the pencil that I have clamped in the machinist vise here. Off camera when I started to test these gears I noticed that there was not enough space for the teeth to actually mesh properly so I used this pencil in the vise to draw a circle around the gear showing the material I wanted to remove back at the bandsaw. Here you can see the circle that I just drew. So it was back over to the bandsaw to saw away this little bit of material between each of the dowel teeth on these gears. If you go slow and you're patient, you can actually do a pretty good job of, of removing this material. It makes a pretty decent cut. So here's a look at the two gears and how they mesh. There's a couple of little binds here and there, so it's definitely not perfect. And there's a place right there where the gear's locked up. If you could look uh, closely, you can see how the spacing is not exactly identical from gear to gear. They're not perfect, but it's not a bad first attempt. There the gear's locked up again. locked up again just going in the opposite direction This time I'm going to take a pencil and mark the, the gear tooth that seems to be causing me some trouble here. I want to actually reposition that tooth and see if that changes anything. Just verifying that the gear does lock up no matter which direction you rotate it. So here I'm just going to put that 
tooth in a different position and try rotating or meshing the gears again. And ah, look at that, the tooth makes it past. So just another sign that the gears are not perfectly symmetrical. There's some slight variations. I think this first set of dowel gears turned out pretty well. It was kind of a unique idea to try using the dowels as the teeth for the gears. I'll have to try this again sometime. Thanks for watching.